Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bob here and the watch I have to show you guys today is just wow. Very cool new release from Longine. The new Longine Avigation Big Eye Titanium and it's kind of a modern twist on the Big Eye with the titanium case and the blue dial. It is a looker. Very nice looking watch. Huge thanks to Gem Bijou for lending in the watch. Gem Bijou is a local authorized dealer for Longine and many other brands. If you're shopping watches, check them out at gembijou.com. So let's get straight to it and take a look at the watch. Now, bit of a background on the watch. The original Avigation Big Eye is kind of a mystery. It was actually presented to the Longines Museum by a collector a few years ago, but from my understanding, Longines had no record of ever producing the watch. I've read that it may have been a prototype or something along those lines, but it appears to have been a model from the 1930s, and the original reissue of the model looks to be a fairly faithful design. This model is, I believe, the exact dimensions of the first reissue with the same movement, but it's a totally different feel looks-wise, and not to mention weight too being made with titanium. The dial is really striking with this color combination. They're calling the dial petrol blue, and it looks awesome with the contrasting black subdials and the Super Luminova Old Radium Loom. Sometimes brands will use that loom to give a watch an aged look, but in a way it somehow adds to the modern style to me with this watch. It adds warmth to the overall look and just works. I think if they would have went with a stark white loom application, it might have looked a little off with this watch. So the watch uses the L688 column wheel chronograph movement based on the ETA A08L01. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a power reserve, according to the Longines site, of approximately 66 hours. The pushers have a nice snappy feel to them. Now, as far as what the subdials are telling us go, at 3 o'clock is the larger subdial, which is where the big eye name comes from. That subdial is the minute totalizer for the chronograph. At the 6 is the hour counter up to 12 hours, and over at the 9 is the running seconds. The hands look to be made from titanium. I couldn't confirm that 100%, but they have that gray titanium tone. The loom isn't the strongest, but it's actually a little better than expected. If the loomed numerals were as strong as the hands, it would actually be quite good, but they aren't quite as bright and do fade faster than the hands. The case is made using grade 5 titanium with very fine brushwork and sharp lines. There is a little bit of polish work on the bezel as well as the pushers and the signed crown. Interesting side profile with how it's just flat than how the lugs come out of the case and turn down like that. The screw down case back is etched with the image of a plane and Longine across the wings. Size on the watch is 40.8 millimeters in case width. Longine has a tendency to go with a long lug to lug, but not the case here. This one isn't bad at all at 48.6 millimeters. Thickness is 14.8 millimeters, including the sapphire crystal, and the lug opening is 20 millimeters. Water resistance is 30 meters. The water resist is a little light. It would have been nice to have maybe 50 meters, so just something to keep in mind. You might have to be a little careful around water with this watch. The strap that comes on the watch is a decent quality strap. It looks good and the leather seems to be a good quality, although it's a little stiff straight out of the box. The only kind of negative for me is the buckle. It's finished differently than the case. It's got a slightly different tone, really more of a titanium tone. I'd likely be swapping the strap for something different anyways, but it does go great with the watch. 
And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And I think the watch looks fantastic. The way they've finished the titanium case is really well done. It almost looks like stainless steel. I could see some people maybe leaning towards the less flashy, more traditional option with the first reissue, but this is a ton of fun to wear. Let me actually just stop and we'll reset the chronograph here. Now, one downside between the two, though, is going to be the price. The older version retails for $26.25 USD. This one goes for a full MSRP of $32.25, so it's definitely a bump in price. I think this has a bit more of that fun factor with the colors, but both are really nice chronographs, so... That is it, I think, for today. Any questions at all on the watch, reach out anytime. Thanks to Gem Bijou for lending it in. A link to their store will be in the description below. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.